The mystery behind SpaceX's Falcon 9's upper stage failure has been finally solved. SpaceX recently faced a significant setback on 11th of July 2024 with the Falcon 9 rocket's upper stage failure. What caused this high-stakes malfunction that had space enthusiasts and engineers scratching their heads? This is Space Technician signing on and let's dive straight into the details revealed by SpaceX. SpaceX claims it has found and resolved the issue that caused its Falcon 9 rocket to fail. The Falcon 9 rocket has a remarkable track record, successfully completing over 350 missions and becoming a cornerstone in modern space travel. It's a partially reusable, human-rated, medium-lift launch rocket that takes two stages to reach orbit. In 2020, it became the first commercial rocket to launch humans into orbit, and in 2022, it became the US rocket with the most launches in history and with a near-perfect safety record. However, on July 11, 2024, the 70th orbital launch of the year, designated as Starlink 9-3, experienced an unexpected failure during its second stage, leading to a precarious situation for its payload of 20 Starlink satellites. The Falcon 9, the world's most popular rocket, was now grounded when this one broke apart in space, destroying its payload of Starlink satellites, the first failure of a rocket relied on by the global space industry in more than seven years. The rocket comprises two stages. The first stage, also known as the booster, transports the second stage and payload to a predetermined speed and altitude before accelerating the payload to its intended orbit. The booster can land vertically to allow reuse. The mission initially seemed to be proceeding smoothly. The Falcon 9 lifted off from Vandenberg Space Force Base, and the first stage booster successfully landed on the drone ship, Of Course I Still Love You. The rocket's first stage performed normally that day, however complications arose during the second stage's burn to circularize the orbit. Camera footage showed an unusual buildup of ice around the Merlin vacuum engine, signaling that something was amiss. The Starlink satellites were launched too low and quickly returned to Earth, where they burned up in our planet's dense atmosphere due to a liquid oxygen leak in their upper stage that stopped them from performing an orbit-raising burn as intended. About an hour after satellite deployment, Elon Musk posted an update, revealing that the upper stage's restart to raise the perigee resulted in a rapid, unscheduled disassembly. The cause of this rapid, unscheduled disassembly was initially unclear, prompting a thorough review of the data to understand the root cause. We shouldn't be surprised if a Falcon 9 had a rough day. Astronomer and satellite tracker Jonathan McDowell believes it was inevitable to happen at some point. This is a very hard business, and you can't expect to never have failures, McDowell stated. SpaceX's investigation uncovered that the failure was due to a leak in the liquid oxygen tank of the Falcon 9's second stage. This leak led to the engine's failure to complete its intended burn, causing the upper stage to disintegrate in space. The source of the leak is no longer a mystery. The cause was a crack in a sense line for a pressure sensor attached to the vehicle's oxygen system, according to a Thursday, July 25th update from SpaceX. This line cracked due to fatigue caused by high loading from engine vibration and looseness in the clamp that normally constrains the line. On the day of the launch, the upper stage's lone Merlin engine executed its first burn according to plan, precisely as it entered a coast phase in an elliptical orbit. However, according to SpaceX's anomaly investigation, which was supervised by the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration, the leak stopped the engine from performing a second burn, which was intended to circularize its orbit before the deployment of Starlink satellites. Even so, the second stage managed to discharge its payload. The satellites, however, were forced to remain in an elliptical orbit above the globe, with a minimum altitude of 84 miles, or about half of their typical operating height. The satellites were slowed down by atmospheric drag at this altitude, and with each orbit, they fell downward by around 3 miles. Representatives from SpaceX stated that the re-entering satellites did not pose a threat to other satellites in orbit or to public safety. The leak had caused excessive cooling of engine components, particularly those involved in the delivery of ignition fluid to the engine. As a result, the engine experienced a hard start rather than a controlled burn, damaging the engine hardware and causing the upper stage to lose attitude control. The anomaly has significant implications for SpaceX. The affected batch of 20 Starlink satellites, including 13 with direct-to-cell capabilities, were left in a 295 by 138 kilometer orbit instead of the intended 296 by 286. This was the largest single loss of Starlink satellites since February 2020, when a geomagnetic storm toppled 40 satellites from the sky soon after they were placed into Earth orbit. This was also the first Falcon 9 launch failure since 2016. SpaceX says it has taken action to prevent the recurrence of the anomaly. Efforts are underway to raise the orbits of these satellites using their onboard ion thrusters, but the success of these maneuvers remains uncertain. For near-term Falcon launches, the failed sense line and sensor on the second stage engine will be removed, company executives stated in an update. The sensor is not used by the flight safety system and can be replaced by other sensors already present in the engine. 
The design improvement was tested at SpaceX's rocket development facility in McGregor, Texas, with expanded qualification analysis and oversight by the Federal Aviation Administration, as well as assistance from the SpaceX inquiry team. The extra qualification assessment, inspection, and scrub of all sensing lines and clamps on the active booster fleet resulted in a proactive replacement in some locations. SpaceX sent the Federal Aviation Administration its report on the disaster. After a comprehensive review, the Federal Aviation Administration determined no public safety issues were involved in the anomaly that occurred during the SpaceX launch on July 11th. The public safety determination means the Falcon 9 vehicle may return to flight operations while the overall investigation remains open, provided all other license requirements are met, they stated. Thursday afternoon, the firm announced on X that it's poised to rapidly return to flight as soon as Saturday, July 27th. Now scheduled for Saturday, July 27th, SpaceX plans to launch 23 Starlink satellites on a Falcon 9 vehicle from NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida's Launch Complex 39A into low Earth orbit. Liftoff is anticipated to occur at 12.21 a.m. Eastern Time, with backup options open until 4.21 a.m. Further opportunities are also available on Sunday, July 28th, beginning at the same time, if necessary. Under the direction of tech tycoon Elon Musk, the business plans to use its Falcon rocket family to launch up to 148 flights this year. Countless SpaceX rocket launches have occurred so far this year, not counting the company's new Starship rocket trials. SpaceX intends to fly a crew of four private astronauts, including millionaire Jared Isaacman, in late July on a mission to complete the first commercial spacewalk using SpaceX's new spacesuits. The business also has its next crewed launch for NASA, Crew-9, scheduled for August, which will deliver four astronauts to the ISS. Jared Isaacman, who will command the Polaris Dawn mission, expressed confidence in SpaceX's ability to address the issue swiftly. He praised the company's transparency and track record, stating that SpaceX's robust safety protocols and commitment to resolving the anomaly would ensure continued success in future missions. SpaceX's ability to passivate the second stage following the failure is a crucial aspect of the response. This process involves ensuring that no hazardous materials remain in the rocket stage before re-entry, preventing potential debris from causing harm upon re-entry. Despite this setback, SpaceX's achievements with the Falcon 9 remain impressive. The rocket is human-rated and has flown astronauts on 13 separate occasions. The company's goal to conduct a minimum of 140 missions in 2024, representing a new record, underscores its ambition and capacity for frequent launches. However, the current grounding of the Falcon 9 could make achieving this target challenging. In conclusion, SpaceX's recent upper stage failure is a reminder of the complexities and risks associated with space exploration. The company's quick identification of the issue and transparent communication provide confidence in its ability to overcome this hurdle. As investigations continue and corrective measures are implemented, SpaceX aims to maintain its position as a leader in space technology and ensure the reliability and safety of its missions. And that's it. What do you think of the modifications made on this spacecraft? Will it be able to launch successfully this time? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below and make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to never miss an update on space exploration. This is the Space Technician signing off for now and I'll see you Space Cowboys in the next one. Thanks for watching.